Okay. Drifter, hey. No, not her. Well, what'd you think? Pretty good, right? Is that right? Damn, it's my pride and joy. But Prime's a whole new song and dance. If I did this right, hint, I think I did this right. You freaks will line up for this till the sun goes out. What's this all for? <laughs> Why don't you head on up to the derelict for a behind the scenes tour? Okay. The Drifter is pleased with your performance in Gambit Prime, but that's not the only con he's cooked up. With some sleight of hand and an unnecessary flourish, he presents you with a curious device that he calls a synthesizer. Your new synthesizer can be used to combine synths found in Combat Pr or Gambit Prime into motes, which can be used in another one of the Drifter's schemes. A mysterious trial he mentions briefly as the Reckoning. And so I think we have to go to the Reckoning for the next mission step. Living? I guess so. Okay, let's go to the Reckoning. Maybe. Uh, use your new synthesizer to create a moat from synth- Ah, uh, okay, it's just pointing to him because I can make a synthesizer, but right now we're not doing that. Right now we're being shown the Reckoning area. With, uh... Oh boy. We're going to the Reckoning area to check it out, right? That's way I thought we were maybe getting a legit tour. What's going on here? Use your new synthesizer to create a moat from since found in Scamper Prime. Oh, okay. It just wants us to actually make that moat. Hey, kid. Looking good. You got it here, Invader Sin. Oh my god, I barely had enough of that. <gasps> no. No. Watch your back out there. Bro. No. No. Hey, look alive, hot shot. No. I thought no. For glimmer? For glimmer? Fuck glimmer. I don't want glimmer. Where the fuck was I supposed to assemble that? No, I just want to do this dumb mission and then be like, "All right, see you on the other side." Yikes, man. That is... that is really awful. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Wasn't there a Gambit mission that was, like, use auto- No, it's auto rifles. Damn it. I was about to say, like, didn't I have to use pulse rifles for that? Wrong. Good job, Drifter. Huh. Okay, it's a one to one right ratio. People. That's it. That's all I had to do. That's all I had to do. Thank God. Let's keep what goes on here between you and me, alright? I'm not doing anything. And no no such thing. Okay. So in order to do this, visit the derelict to wager your synthesized moat in the mysterious trial that the drifter calls the reckoning. Reckoning run succeeded. Oh no. All right, so I'm, I don't know really anything about Gambit. The only thing I know about, or uh, I don't know anything about The Reckoning. All I know about The Reckoning is that it's it's a co-op arena. And that it has these challenges. Void damage increases slightly from all sources. Enemy melee attacks are significantly more powerful and the radar is disabled. Melee attacks deal more damage and recharge much faster. Okay, these... These don't go well together. Uh, me melee attacks are significantly more powerful. It basically just means fucking melee attacks are gonna one-shot us. What can I do to offset this? I could just stay my Voidwalker class. And depending on how much damage I can do in there, I could just run with this. What's a void weapon that I have? We have the Swarm of the Raven, which is okay, but, eh, well. I'll try my Whisper. I know Whisper got a big, like, it got an ammo nerf, which sucks. But I'll just have to roll with it. I'm either gonna go and stay with Voidwalker so I can keep Devour on for myself, or I'm gonna go Dawnblade into, uh, with Radiance with Phoenix Protocol. 
If I do Phoenix Protocols enough, and we're constantly killing stuff, that could be good. I don't know if Phoenix Protocol got a nerf. Unfortunately, my colors don't match up now, but... Oh well. Oh, but you know what? Did it lock? Shit, it locked. No, I can cancel. Okay. If I stay... Voidwalker... Then that combines with Void Singe. It still might not be the best choice for it, but... Hey, being able to do extra damage with my super? Sounds pretty nice. I hate that blackout is, like, one of the first things I'm encountering. Because obviously these rotate. I don't know if it's daily or, like, weekly. Well, probably daily. But blackout's one of the worst ones. Just... Oh, and then they instant kill you. That doesn't sound fun. Too bad, player. Glass. Now that... That, that, that blackout and glass, I level them kind of about the same. Ugh, but thank god this has matchmaking. If it had been another case of- and then we made a game mode that wants you to be with people. But you gotta find- ooh, we gotta keep this. Uh, but we want you to stay- <laughs> we want you to find people in the world. With our shitty matchmaking system. And then you'd, like, be on the world going, but where are the people? Budgie? Chicken dinner. Oh. Alright, let's see how that is. Rock it out, what is that? That's neat. My main interest is the ships. What did we get this season? Threat display? Ill. That is ugly. Skulking fox. That- that's ugly in a good way. That's ugly in a- I could see that in a- in, like, firefly kind of way. Like a reaver ship. God, what, what, why do they even bother with this shit? Like this right here, like these are straight just reskins. Ew. What about sparrows? Did we get cool sparrows this time? We got Praxic Finery, that looks cool. Oh. Uh. Hello, everybody! Ooh. I guess I go into the giant portal. With my one team- okay, we have another guy though. He's just loading! Hi there. Is there s- do we do something with the balls that we shoot down? Cause I mean, if there's like a legit thing involving them, I'm down. Osaka wages one weak mode. Do I wager one weak mode? No, I don't. Oh wait! One week mode. I don't know what this does. It might make it harder. That's... <laughs> so you followed a, a dark guardian into their lair. This place is an open question. The Nine wish to know you. Hey! It's the multiplayer map. Alright, Reckoning, let's see what you've got for me. Let's see what all the hubbub was about. Yeah, maybe the Blast Furnace would have been a better choice. But this has void damage, so you know. It could have been good. Wow, a void shield for my void damage? That's so nice of you. Who's already died? <laughs> oh, do we revive him? What the fuck happened down there, boys? Yikes! And now I'm dead, because I came over here to revive you! That's probably what happened to our second teammate. Okay, so we can respawn if things go bad. Yeah, I went over there going, Yeah, I'll just use my Devour, and I'll save their lives. And that didn't work out. Don't, don't come for me. 
I'd rather, I'd rather not spawn in the middle of all that. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. I am focusing on self-survival right now. Because clearly the world is fucked. And I'm sad, because I never got the attention I wanted. I never got the kindled orchard that I wanted. It really blows. Well, the enemy's facing away from me now. Oh yeah, I have my shotgun. Well, that sucks. First time shooting the, the Orchid in a while. Completely missed my shots. Or, not Orchid, my Whisper of the Worm. God, do you know how amazing my Kindled Orchard would be if I had Kill Clip? Okay? Or maybe not kill clip. Uh, feeding frenzy. Anything that involves reload speed. Oh hey. I'm I'm being I'm being stingy for myself right now. Defeat the taken taken champion. Good fucking luck, boys. Get stomped away, fucking punchy. Stomp mechanics are the worst. That was a headshot? <laughs> Bullshit. This guy's definitely got Phoenix Protocol on. I'm glad I didn't take it, just because now that means I can get this guy's Phoenix Protocol back real fast. What the fuck are these? Shadow Beasts? That's terrifying. Brave new world. Y'all have new roles in Gambit Prime. Invader, Collector, Sentry, Reaper. And the hardware you'll build here in Reckoning? It'll enhance those roles. Make you look real mean. I so didn't go get be anything. mean, brother. That's so mean to me. Alright. What does this guy have? Threat level, trans level grave robber, quick draw rapid dude. If he had had a Kindle tortured with with the good stuff would have been a little bit sad. So does this like infinitely replay or do we are we just done now? No, I'm good. Uh sorry to leave those guys, but I came there for my con man mission. Which means now I have to go back to the drifter. I need to have another short conversation. Maybe we'll go to uh, talk to to Tess. I'm fine with free gifts too. Did I really never get like a good kindled orchard? I tried. I tried at least eight times, maybe at least ten times, to get a kindled orchard from the Bagusia Forge. That was the last thing I was doing, which got me the Jotun, which was nice, but not exactly what I was looking for. So, uh, this round can fire long distances. I could give it alloy magazine. Faster reloads when the magazine is empty. So I just keep on firing as much as possible.
but I'm fine with the reload speed. Now that I, because I added a Rampage buff to it, I think? No, I didn't. I gave it a backup magazine. Okay, backup magazine and alloy magazine don't pair well, so... Yee. I just liked having a Kindle Orchard from Rampage. How you living, brother? As you approach, the drifter fixes you with an appraising stare. Is he sizing you up? In the next instant, he breaks into a disarming smile, and you forget your doubt. You forget your doubt. Drifter thanks you for your interest in his new operations, saying that he hopes to see you out in the field very soon. Cool, he gave me another post rifle, but that's going into the postmaster. Drifter takes a look at your trusty synthesizer, scratches his jaw, gives you a long look of consideration, then smiles. Figure that thing's due for an upgrade, don't you think? You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. And then some. Ha! <laughs> the Drifter is offering a bounty that you can use to upgrade your synthesizer to the next level. Take a look at the Drifter's bounties to get started. Hey, hey. Let's be straight with each other. I know the Vanguard's watching me. Probably want you to snitch, am I right? Ah, <laughs> If you're considering, I get it. Old Drifter likes to play both sides, too. But think about it. You stand with them, you're a dead man walking. My games have pissed off a whole lot of dangerous people. You stand with me, I got your back. Trust. So what'll it be? <laughs> well, normally I would choose the Vanguard. Because they've been around a bunch, but at the same time, I'm ready to see what lies on the other side. I want to know what the Vanguard's been keeping hidden from us. The Drifter knows someone has been snooping into his affairs. He likes you, but he needs to trust you. And so he has a simple question for you. Are you with him or are you against him? Choose where your loyalties lie. Let's rumble, Drifty. Now, I already know the rewards at the end of this. I would norm I would choose Vanguard. Ah. <laughs> for the rewards. <laughs> you got grit, kid. I admire a man willing to risk the trust of everyone who's ever been kind to him. Yeah. But let me set the record straight. You're choosing to walk with a monster. Monsters survive. Trust. People change. Priorities change. Stick with me, and you'll see that. Now. As a symbol of our new partnership, I need a favor from you. Got a shipment waiting in the Tangled Shore. Pick it up for me. I'll tell Spider you're coming. All right. You choose to stand with the Drifter. Pleased by your decision, he rewards your loyalty with a request for assistance. Okay, let's go have a chat. Oh, look, there's much more... There are more bounties now related to the different sins. That's nice. Invader bounties to be guardians with power weapons. Ha! <laughs> I would have had that already. Defeat guards in the Crucible. Oh, that's different. Collector bounty loot sector. Okay, well this is this is nice. See, all the other stuff was like do stuff in Gambit Prime to get more things for Gambit Prime, which is okay, but I didn't really care for it. But these are like oh, go off. Oh, this one's for Crucible too. Damn it, never. I was excited about this one, but this one lets you go into different areas. So that way you can get the stints related to that. So, Collector, this one wants us to do stuff in the Tangled Shore. Neat. Yeah. <laughs> this one wants us to kill Taken Thrall or Scions. Uh, I don't know how many times that's going to happen. Well, 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 I'm not too worried Watch about Watch your back out there, brother. I also don't care too much about, like, decking myself out in full-on Gambit Prime gear. So, it's kind of... It's kind of a shrug kind of situation. I just... Eh? It doesn't matter to me what I get, because I'm probably just gonna end up decking myself on whole new gear when the season of Opulence starts. Welcome to Eververse. Hello, Tess. Tess once again appreciates your celebration of an Eververse bounty- or completion of an Eververse bounty. She rewards you with a gift to celebrate the new season. Cool. Wait, hold on. Come see me again. Postmaster is out of space. Welcome back. Oh my, he really is. Message from Honor. Oh, maybe. Should have read these. These probably are relevant. 
an encrypted uh, missive from the Praxic Warlock Honor. This item may be safely discarded to unlock an associated lore triumph. To see the lore now, inspect this transcript and hold E. My name is Honor. I serve the Hidden in the Warlock Praxic Order. You and I have never met, but I hold you in high regard. You've accomplished wonders for the city, and humanity owes you a debt it cannot repay. A marvel for one so young. But, in true Guardian fashion, nothing you did for the city came from generosity. I think you want what everyone with power wants. More. The man called Drifter knows this. That man has done what past influencers could not. Manipulate Guardians into dabbling with the dark. And yet the Vanguard stands by in silence. Commander Zavala and Ikora Ray know who he is and everything he stands for. They still let him bring his gambit into the system. What's more, they have forbidden the Praxic Order from interfering. It's against everything the Praxics stand for. We won't abide it, and we're looking into his activities, building a case against him even the Vanguard can't ignore. Do me a favor, from one guardian of this city to another. You're free to keep your business with him. Just give me the chance to convince you the Drifter's not to be trusted. Yeah, I've already joined his side. Uh, my, my bad. Yeah. While a part of me does want, I want to serve both sides. I think a perfect balance of light and dark. At least semantically. Is probably the way for us to succeed because there's there's crazy stuff on its way. Oh, I never use my prismatic pressure. Alright, we'll just archive these for now. Sorry, Honor. So what is this? We got a kill clip out last. I'll lock it, because it's got kill clip, but I don't think I care too much about it. I just like that it's a 653. And then what is this one? Nightwatch, scout rifle, subsistence. What is that? Kills partially reload the magazine from reserves, but reserve capacity is reduced. Oh. Well, okay. Small bore, fluted barrel. I don't remember which one was the good one. Small bore gives me more range and stability. Multi-kill clip. Reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills made beforehand. Okay. These two don't work together. <laughs> All right. I'll lock it, though. Anything that's, like, the first time I'm getting it, I'd rather have. What does this look like? Eh, it's okay, but I'm not a I'm not a blue kind of person. Zen moment opening shot, get that shit out of here. Claws of the Wolf, Headseeker, Grave Robber with a Pulse Rifle. Headseeker, Armor Piercing Rounds. Ricochet Rounds, Hammer Forged. Uh, I don't know about that one. I'll get rid of these, though. Now I'm clearing out some space. It's gonna be bad. It's, it's gonna be real bad. Okay, so what else do you have for me? Welcome Tess? to Eververse. Ooh. What do we have here? Vehicles of short cooled. Yes, nice. All right, I have multiple of these now. Wait, no, short cooldown between summonings is not the same as it takes less time to summon. Damn it! It looks... It, I like the look of it. This makes me think of, like, flying around with a chair attached to a pod. Like, one pod from a pod racer. But we have Burnout, and that looks cool. Alright, let's go visit the Tangled Shore to see what our good friend Spider has to say about all this. Spider! Old friend. What catches your eye? What do you have? The story hero of the Red War. The rumored prince killer. Working as a mule for- I'm not- I can't emulate the way the spider talks. Uh, working as a mule for the likes of the drifter, spider says. My, my, how the mighty fall. I hope you know everything about your new friend's enemies. There is a pregnant pause. You did ask him about all that, didn't you? You say nothing as you reach casually to check the position of the heavy weapon slung across your back. Recognizing the subtle threat, Spider Silvers. Well, we'll have a look at my wares then. Okay. You've discovered that Spider has a whole array of illegal goods for sale to those who know what to ask for. 
Among those is the jerky that Drifter asked you to pick up. All right. Midnight Special, a convincing though non-functional replica of a fabled weapon. <laughs> I wish it was a real Galahorn. The Bits, a live ghost held in an anti-transmat cage. He pleads for release, 999,999. Wow. The Jerky, coordinates to Golden Age salvage collected by the Fallen on Titan, essential to the Drifter's new gambit. Ooh. Encrypted list of nine different coordinates beyond the heliopause. A lion, it's not what it sounds like. The good news, keys to the personal quarters of a certain ex executor in the last city. Whoa, I don't know what that's about. The ruckus, an intact seed mine recovered from a war mine complex on Jupiter. Holy shit. I'm gonna buy this 50,000 glimmer item for the drifter. Good choice, my friend. What does he want me to do? Complete a heroic ver uh, reprise of Adventure Thief of Thieves on Titan. Okay. Make the sure respect you. We're doing Thief Always of Thieves. room in my home for another guardian friend. Where is that? Where is that? Here we go. Wait, that's just enemy of my enemy. Thief of Thieves on Titan. Ah, so here's a problem. Here's Thief of Thieves. I haven't done any of the Titan missions on PC. Dead drop, Siren's Watch, here we go. Okay, that was actually the mission. Oh, I, I, I got it, slightly confused. I thought it was just some normal quest that I hadn't done yet. I mean, technically that is exactly what it is. But it wasn't what I was looking for. All right, do I wanna swap things around? I could grab one of these machine. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep what we've got. It works. I shotgun big things in front of me, or I don't. Although I'm sad it's a reprise of a mission. I would have rather had a whole new one. The jerky is dialed into a fallen transponder somewhere in Titan. We'll need to pick up the goods in person to complete your errand for Drifter. Drifter, you're lucky we can time travel and make things happen all over again, all the time. Okay, brother, this'll be a cakewalk. You're just picking up a stash. Clear <sighs> out the area. I got Vanguard snitches breathing down my neck. We don't need anybody following you. Uh, these aren't the targets I'm looking for. Oh wait, it's this mission. So when it says clear out the fallen, really he's just saying, hey, go kill until you collect five of these repair tools. And the repair tools come from the thieves. Which is why the mission's called Thieves of Thieves. Don't look at me down there. Think I approve the hive? I don't. Except for when it benefits me. Which a lot of times it doesn't. I'm back! My rampage doesn't last that long, and I'm, I really don't want to spend my only rampage spec on this gun. I'd rather save it for something else. Like the breakneck, which I've heard is a good choice for using the rampage bot on. I was about to say, wait, what am I getting from them? And I remembered, oh right! I have a mission involving the hive. So they just want me to kill hives in general. Okay, I don't think I'm ending up where I'm hoping to go. I was trying to get out of the building through like a back door, but this is like leading into a lost sector. At least this hive tablet stuff isn't too bad to get. Oh, why hello there? Yeah, I'm just gonna punch him. 
Attaching you the XYZ to the pickup site now. You're looking for a big pile of salvage. You'll know it when you see it. Yeah, I think my logic behind slapping a backup magazine on this was, well, if I'm not going to be able to reload my gun quickly, I might as well have 10 fully powered shots. Which I think is solid logic. Find the fallen cash. Yeah, this is like, this is like one of the first missions you can do on Titan. Jeez. One day I'm going to end up doing all of the missions. One day. Maybe before Destiny 3. That'd be a good period. Oh. oh, you know what? Hold on now. Where's my chromatic fire? Did I throw it into the vault? Or did I dismantle it immediately? I think I dismantled it immediately. No. I bought it on a different character. Aha! Nice. What does the shader look like? Ew. That one's up. That one's bad. What does one of these look like? That's a little bit better. I don't remember the name of the shader that I have on currently. Let's see. Rasmussen Clan. I'll worry about that later. I just wanted to have this on. It's not, I can't even see my chest while we're going around shooting things. You know, gotta say, a little dis Oh, it's my primary! Right! Shit. So I actually have to use my blast furnace. Wow. You're close. Just around the corner. <laughs> Look, I I'm just a big fan of explosions. I should be using this more. Kill clip. I can activate kill clip. Uh, Feeding frenzy a lot down. more. Maybe the beacon's busted. Uh, tell you what. Fallen crews around here jack Vanguard gear all the time. See if you can find a spare beacon. I, uh, got a call coming through that I gotta take. Oh, don't worry. I'm already just gonna keep running around here and inspect the goods. Is it back here? Gotcha. Oh, recover transmit beacon. Oh, yeah. I'm not even listening to Drifter. I'm, like, worried about... Got my own shit. And shreds it. Fuck up, kid. Hey, that's the big supply thief. Get back here! Oh god! This thing's powerful! Especially for a gun that uses special ammo? Jeez! Area's clear. Let's Ew. get back to that stash so I can send it over. Not one of my prime engram drops. Not right now. It's not gonna benefit me that much. So I think the Yoten ends up just becoming almost like a... Like a medium grenade launcher in a lot of scenarios. I don't know if it's been, like... Shifted in balance at all, but uh, I should use it. Oh. 
was about to say, did I go the wrong way? This seemed like the right way. I was slightly off. Oh, I didn't place the beacon. <laughs> This is fine. This is what I have devoured for. Will an enemy show up? Well, that's awkward. Where are my consistent enemies? There you are! Okay, motherfucker, you get a yell into the face. You're wasting my time like this? You think I want that? Oh, you're still alive? Oh, shit. Or maybe it was just a different one. See now, feeding frenzy rampage would be amazing. Cause then you can just keep the killing going, and then still get- Oh my god, it'd be such a fantastic combination. So chromatic fire is okay. It's not really that amazing, unless the enemies are like bunching up a whole bunch, which they have been. Doing. But when they do, oh boy, that's exciting. Hey, Transman's coming through fine, but a little spider just told me Shin Malf has been spotted in the EDZ. Say, Remember what? him? Famous renegade, golden gun, mad on for revenge. He and I had an arrangement. The EDZ was not part of that arrangement. Come on back to base. We gotta regroup. You got it. Is that going to that's going to the vault? Woo! I hope my postmaster was in full. Cause uh Yeah. Yeah. That would be that would be something that just completely disappears. What the hell is that? I have to refresh my postmaster to find out. Go to orbit, damn it. The list be faster. Yeah, let it take the orbit. Okay, so getaway artist. It is hold on to you, hold on to convert your arc grenade into a supercharged arc soul. The arc soul functions as an art autonomous turret. Oh, that's okay, I guess. I mean, if it's a supercharged arc soul, you can just run around and have a good time. In terms of the, oh, I didn't take the orbit. But in terms of the stats I have on it, it's got Sniper Pulse Rifle Loader and Sniper Rifle Scavenger. Yeah, those are all okay stats. I should fucking get the Postmaster. I wish we had access to the Postmaster from Orbit. That'd be nice. I did actually lose some items from the Postmaster. Did I lose my... I did not lose my 653 Pulse Rifle. But I could have very easily done so, so I need to fuck, I need to do something about that. <laughs>